Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications, and check out the latest items in the Dark Web Deacon merch store. There is a link in the video description below, and become a true Dark Web enthusiast. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday. For today's episode, I want to talk about a really interesting and unique search engine called CRX. CRX is a free meta search engine available through the GNU public license, with the aim of protecting the privacy of its users. CRX does not share users' IP addresses or search history with the search engine from which it gathers the results. Tracking cookies served by the search engines are blocked, preventing user profiling based results modifications. What makes CRX different? is that it is distributed with instances available both on the surface and the dark web, and it's very configurable. For example, you can see that there's a number of different instances of freely available on the surface web. You can also click on the online tour section to find the tour links for a .onion address version of the search engine. CRX can fetch search results, images, files, videos from about 82 different engines. This includes major search engines and site-specific search engines like Bing, Google, Reddit, Wikipedia, Yahoo, and Yandex. There's two major things you should probably check out first. One is for the advanced settings. You can change to multiple different languages and you can change based on timing. And as I mentioned, there's a number of different subcategories you can look at. But more importantly is this preferences section. This is what makes CRX I think really unique. Is you can select engines tab and you can see in terms of the type of search engines you want CRX to go through and search uh, for a particular entry, you can decide which ones you want. So for this, this is the, the basic default. There's Wikidata, DuckDuckGo, Starpage, we can add Reddit. We can add Gigablast, we can add eTools, uh, Wikibooks, um, and let's just say uh, Naver as the last one. And you can save those. So this way, within your search results, it will look to all of those specific engines. And you can see you can configure it based on uh, file sources, image sources, map sources, news sources, science, social media. So you can make this a kind of an overarching search engine that is very configurable just to the specific sources you want your search engine to be configured against. So this is what makes it really unique and powerful and I thought really interesting to share with my audience. Also one additional unique part of this search engine is that you can download the source code from GitHub and run your own instance of the search engine that both you and others can use, which again helps to maximize privacy. So back to the search engine. Typically when I do these type of search engine for dark web type search engines, um, I'll search on three things, LeBron James, cryptocurrency, and pharma. Now CRX is not specific to the dark web. As I showed you, showed you currently, you can run both instances on the surface web and the dark web, but also you can configure CRX to grab uh, data based on whatever search engines you want it configured against. But that being said, I still felt like it was worth it to run my normal quick test. So if we search on LeBron James first, you see we get a number of obviously Clear, clear web results because we're searching on a lot of things like Bing and Reddit and a few other sites. And you know, we, we configured Wikibooks earlier and we could see that that has also shown up. You can obviously go to images and there's gonna be a ton of images that are gonna be displayed. Now, if we go to cryptocurrency, Again, we we pre-configured this to certain certain specific sources. So Wikibooks uh, comes up as one of the main sources. We can also go to the news site and see that there are a ton of different sources uh, that also show up. And lastly, pharma. 
Again, we're gonna get a lot of results here. So unlike a lot of the pure dark web search engines, these three words can produce variable results. But since we're actually connected to a number of different search engines that we've decided to configure against, we're gonna get some very valid results. And so as we go through, really this is all about configuring, whether it be plugins or, or cookies and the specific search engines themselves, this is key to figuring out how you want your results to be displayed, the types of results that you want to be displayed, but also how much you want your privacy protected. So again, this is a great search engine. I definitely would check it out, especially if you're a tech geek, maybe even run your own version of it. Um, definitely worth checking out. I think it's a great thing to, to add to your, your arsenal of little tech tools that are available that are out there. DuckDuckGo is of course is a great search engine that protects your privacy, but this allows you to not only search DuckDuckGo, but a ton of other sources that maybe you think are really valuable and allows you to basically put it in one place um, and basically gives you one solid portal to search the surface web while protecting your privacy. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.